What's up everyone, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video I'll be doing the gaming review, battery drain test and the heat test of the Realme 2 Pro. Now before we get started, these are the specifications and anti 2 Geekbench scores of the phone. Now this is my setup. Phone currently has 72% of battery left, there are two big lights on either side and there is an AC running in the room at 26 degrees and the current room temperature is 27 degrees. Now coming to the phone's temperature, on the front it is 34 degrees, at the bottom it is about 36 to 37 degrees, on the back it's about 33 to 34 degrees and at the bottom it is 34 degrees once again. Now I'll start the timer and start the gaming review with Asphalt 9. Now as you can see there is no lag but the visuals aren't looking that great. Now for some reason this game is not working properly, I mean in terms of visuals, with phones with the same Snapdragon 660 processor like the Vivo V11 Pro, Mi A2 and now even on this phone visuals aren't looking great. And it's not a problem with the phone or the processor, it has something to do with the game developers. So with an update we might see better visuals on this phone. But as far as gameplay is concerned there is absolutely no lag and everything is pretty smooth. So guys, I played this game for about 5-6 to six minutes, now let's check the temperature. On the front, I've seen a maximum of 38 degrees, at the bottom it is 40 degrees, on the back it's fluctuating from 37 to 38 and at the bottom it's about 36 to 37 degrees. Next I'll be playing Modern Combat 5. So guys, as you can see, there is no lag and the visuals are looking pretty impressive. For some reason on this particular phone, I am able to see smaller details like the blood spilling which I couldn't notice on many other phones. And even the display looks pretty impressive because of the smaller vessels all around and a very small notch at the top. So for gaming and especially games like these, this display is just awesome. So guys, I played this game for about 5 minutes, now let's check the temperature. On the front, I've seen a maximum of 40 degrees, at the bottom it's fluctuating from 38 to 42. On the back, I've seen 39 degrees and at the bottom once again, it's fluctuating from 38 to 39 degrees. Now the phone feels slightly warm but that's manageable, not a major issue. Next I'll be playing PUBG Mobile. By the way guys, I've set the graphics settings to HD at high frame rate. So let's see how it performs. So guys, as you can see, there is a slight bit of lag, but that's not a problem. The entire game is still playable and the visuals are also looking pretty great. Now I am like a complete beginner in this game, so I really don't know about the frame rates and stuff. So if you want a much smoother experience, you can always reduce the graphic settings and have a much more smoother experience. As for me, HD at high frame rate doesn't seem to be having any problem. So guys, I played this game for about 20 minutes. Now let's check the temperature. On the front I've seen a maximum of 43 to 44 degrees, at the bottom it's fluctuating from 41 to 43, on the back once again it's fluctuating from 41 to 42 and at the bottom it is 39 degrees. So guys overall, if you're looking for a gaming phone under 15,000 rupees, I can definitely suggest you this phone. Maximum temperature that I have seen while gaming was 44 degrees 
and that too after playing PUBG Mobile for 20 minutes. Now 44 degrees might look like a big number, but the phone doesn't feel all that hot. It's kinda hot, but it's still manageable, you can continue playing the game. Now coming to the battery life, I've been playing games for about 37 minutes and phone currently has 57% battery left. So for 37 minutes of gameplay, phone consumed 15% of battery, which is kinda high compared to other phones. But for the overall gaming experience, I would say battery life would be pretty good and it should last you a day. Now for the heat test, I'll be taking pictures continuously for 3 minutes using both the front and rear cameras and then check the temperature of the phone. So now I'll start the timer and start taking the pictures. So guys, as you can see, I'm doing this test right after the gaming review and the capturing speeds are pretty good. So it seems like there is no throttling going on because of the heating issues. Now let's see how hot the phone gets. So guys, it's been 3 minutes. Now let's check the temperature of the phone. On the front, it's fluctuating from 46 degrees to 49 degrees. That's the maximum I've seen. At the bottom, it's about 41 to 42 degrees. On the back, it's fluctuating from 42 to 46 degrees. And at the bottom, it is 39 degrees. Now the phone definitely feels hot, especially in the front, but it is still manageable. Now right after the heat test, I tried using this phone for a minute. There was a bit of a lag, but overall, the entire UI was pretty smooth. So if we push this phone to its limits, like taking pictures continuously or using features like AR stickers and so on, phone definitely becomes pretty hot and the maximum temperature should be around 49 degrees. So if you're gonna play games continuously for hours together or take pictures continuously, then this phone will get pretty hot. By the way, these are like the extreme temperatures and on normal usage, phone wouldn't get this hot. So guys, on the whole, gaming experience on this phone is pretty impressive, there is no issue with that and even in terms of heating issues, just like any other phone, if you push it to its limits, it gets hot, but that's it. There are no heating issues, it won't get hot unnecessarily, so you don't have to worry about that. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video, thanks for watching, if you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description, it always helps the channel and if you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off, have a nice day.